once you have assembled the machine you must have ready all the parts that you're going to use for the repair the specific tire the heating mode the heating packs the heating pad and the pressing plates make sure that everything are connected to the machine then you must fix the side heating mode with the two screws as shown once fixed the side heating mode you place the treat heating mode as shown our next step is to lift up the tire which we do thanks to the lift special lift that's made for this Rekka 3000 using the chains we leave it up to help you to take out the pressing arm of the machine we use the heating packs and as shown on the film Then we start to position the tire into the machine, helping us with the cradle movement of the press and with the change of the lid. This we have to do step by step to make sure that the tire is correctly fixed or joined to the heating molds, both the side heating molds and the treat heating molds. This is an operation that has to be very carefully done so we, we get the best contact with the tire Now comes the time to put the heating pads into the tire. We must make sure and be very careful that the patch that we put on the tire for repairing is positioned in the middle of this heating pad. Then we put on the heating packs and at last our bridge plates which help us doing all the pressing to the patch next we assemble once again the pressing arm to the machine we start to take it down to the bridge plate and this, will, this is done by the help of the hydraulic group from the control panel then we make sure that the pressing arms uh, end in the middle of the bridge plate and next thing is that we have to make sure the pressure normally recommended goes up to 150, 150. every time we do this operation we have also always be careful of that the, uh, the contact with the heating modes are correct and if not then we help with this curtain movement to adjust it much better it is very important that during the curing time or the vulcanizing time, 
the hydraulic group must be switched off by the red button. Now we connect the heating pad to the control box with the connectors that you have we have provided with you. Then the next step is to program the contact box where we put in the heating temperatures of the three molds, the side molds and the heating pad. All this is programmed from the control box and at least we program the temper the vulcanizing time or the curing time which depends on the thickness of the tire but for regular for each millimeter of the tire for each millimeter of the tire you need three minutes of curing time Once the vulcanizing time has finished, we take off the pressure from the pressing arm, we disconnect the heating pad, and we can finally, you can take the bridge plate out, the heating packs, and the heating pad away. Then. Next thing that we do is prepare the press and the tire for the repair of the treat of the tire. This case, together with the help of the lift and the cratten movement, we position the tire as shown in the film. You can see the patch inside the tire. After that we put the heating pad. After that we put the heating bags and then at least the bridge plate. For the treat repair, we have to change the pressing arm, which is a special one designed for this type of repair. Once we have assembled the pressing arm for the treat, we finish it assembling it together with the bridge plate. And then we program once again the press as shown before, the same for the side repair. Always make sure that you have the pressure on 150 and that the contact with the heating molds are always equal and there is no space between the tire and the heating mold. 